So the sanctuary cities are all crying for more money so they can hire more people to increase the size of government so they can handle more illegals. And all of this is done purposely. And, and I need to explain this because it, it, for me, it didn't really click until just recently. The word is called redistricting. Redistricting. And redistricting in the United States is the process of drawing electoral districts or boundaries. So for the United States House of Representatives and state legislatures, these districts, okay, and uh, are, are formed so that when there's a certain number of people, they have so many representatives. So redistricting occurs after every 10 years of census. So the last census was done in April of 2020. And right now, the country is overwhelmed by migrants, like in New York City, for instance. And New York City is selling out billions of dollars to address the problem. And it's a problem that Biden created himself, his administration. They purposely have brought in people from the border, Texas area, brought them in, shipped them into New York, and overwhelmed the system. Displaced citizens in order to put migrants in. Even for a short while, they took kids out of school so migrants could have a place to stay, which was ridiculous. And people complained, and so they backed up on that order. But what they've done is they put the poor people who live in New York at the back of the line. And that's wrong. I mean, elites are going to be elites. They, they can go anywhere. You know, if the migrants are in the way, they can get on their helicopter, fly over to the airport, take a jet and fly somewhere and live nice and comfortable. Uh, but the average person, working class, lower working class, lower middle class people, they don't have that ability to be able to get away. They live there in the city and they have to live with this filth and garbage excrement on the streets. <laughs> and, and a lot of this was exposed about redistricting just recently. Um, Representative Yvette Clark, uh, she's a real radical left wing congresswoman, and she's running for re-election in New York's 9th District. And she made clear that this crisis is for a purpose. She basically said out loud what all of us have known for a long time on, on the right. We've known this for a long time, but she said it out loud. And uh, she's gotten a lot of flack for it since. But watch this video. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. We have a diaspora that, that can absorb a significant number of these migrants. And I, that, you know, when I hear uh, colleagues talk about, uh, you know, the, 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 the doors of the inn being closed, um, no room in the inn, I, I'm saying, you know, I, I need more people in my district, but just for redistricting purposes. And those members could, could clearly uh, fit here. So this woman served on the House Committee on Homeland Security. And she outright admits, and it, it, here I got to, I got to, we got to listen to the quote. This is the only way to purposely really get it and understand what she's saying. So here it is: "Quote, I'm saying I need more people in my district, just for redistricting purposes." She says it straight out, without any covering at all, just lets the truth out for the first time in decades that I could say, I've never heard anyone ever admit it out loud like that. And she did. So this admission is not a little thing. This is huge. She spoke the unspeakable out loud. And she's taken a heck of a lot of flack for it. But you and I need to be aware. What she said is actually the truth of what's been going on all along. The admission is a confirmation that the border crisis is intentional to import a new voting block of people into all of these larger cities. What it does is it ensures Democrat control. So if you take all the large cities around the nation and you have Democrat control to them, that's the larger populations. They have more congressmen, more representatives. Okay, And so all of those people are serving in Washington, D.C. Who do you think's interest they have at heart? Their own. That's why we end up with people like Ilan Omar and, you know, uh, all these crazies on the left who basically stand for evil. And yet their contingencies back home, their constituents back home are all on their side. Why? Because they haven't um, joined America. They haven't become a part of America. What they've done is they've illegally entered our nation and they have not assimilated into the American culture. 
Instead, they brought their culture here. And the, the garbage nation that they came from, they're basically trying to make this nation as bad as it was the one they left. Um, these higher population states get more con you know, congressional seating and therefore more political power in Washington. <laughs> the blue states have been losing seats because people have been fleeing the progressive policies. So they know Americans aren't going to put up with it anymore. So guess what? Hey, I got an idea. Let's bring in people from other nations because, hey, they'll be happy to live here, you know? And that's what they did. The Democrats determined the solution is simple. Let's open up our borders and let's bring the people into the nation. We'll fly them up to New York or Chicago or LA or Seattle or bust them in. And we're going to give them a bunch of stuff. Let's give them a phone. Let's, you know, let's give them this and whatever because they didn't have any of that in their dungeon of a nation. And then we have lifetime voters. And that, my friends, is the story of redistricting. The U.S. Census uh, recently released the data showing that 1.4 million residents fled California and New York just in 2022 alone. Hence, the race to get as many illegals into the nation as possible, as quickly as possible, um, is the reason why Biden is doing what he's doing. They don't want to lose the political power and stronghold that they have. So they ship them to all the right places. All the areas around the nation, which are blue cities, let's face it, and uh, because Democrats run them right into the ground. So remember, everything that the left does is pretty much a power play. It's all about power. It's all about politics. That's what it's about, money and power. And they will... I know this sounds crazy, but they will plunge our cities and our nation into complete and total chaos just to maintain control. I mean, I believe they'd sacrifice their own firstborn to keep power. I mean, you know, we're not going to talk about abortion, but let's face it, you know, they, it's just another tool in their quiver to keep and maintain control. Uh, this, this woman, Yvette Clark, she started a letter campaign just recently uh, to Biden. Uh, along with 65 of her colleagues, and they were asking the Biden administration to provide immediate relief for protection for illegal aliens, specifically black ones. <laughs> what the heck? Unbelievable. If we said something like that, we'd be racist. But this is what they say. She wrote this, quote, Ours is a nation of immigrants, and diversity will always be our country's strength. Our willingness to accept Newcomers into our nation is a key component of our global influence and soft power. Now, when I first read that, I, I, I said, well, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe that was a, a spelling error or something. Soft power. What, is, what does she mean by soft power? What is soft power? Weakness. See, our willingness to accept newcomers into our nation is a key component of our global influence and our weakness. See, at the same time, we could have global influence and yet portray ourselves as weak. And that pretty much, my friend, sums up what the left is trying to do. It's unbelievable, but it's actually happening right before my very eyes and yours.